Hey y'all. So if you are alive and aware of anything going on in this world, then you are very well aware that we are in the middle of a racial uprising. Um, since even before the United States was the United States, um, racism has been an issue. Discrimination has been an issue. Um, mistreatment of natives and black people have been issues. Um, for some reason it's 2020 and these things are still a problem. We are having police brutally murder people who have not been convicted of the crimes, um, completely eliminating the option for them to have a fair trial, which is a constitutional right. Um, these police officers are getting away with it, not being charged, simply being reassigned to other duties or stations. Um, the evidence is there because these are being recorded. Um, people are literally getting away with murder. Um, this is happening to black women. This is happening to black men. This is happening to black children. Um, and it's heartbreaking. I mean, I've lost a brother and I learned at the age of 13 that as far as the police and the courts go, black lives don't matter. So right now, it is very important for anyone who is making money off of or due to black people to take a stand. Um, we are asking you, demanding that you take a stand with us and show that you are in agreement that black lives matter. Um, when we're asking you to do these things, when we're making these demands and you do something generic like post your code of conduct or your non-discrimination agreement, that's not what we're asking you for. We know what it says. We also know that it's not being adhered to. This is going to restaurants, stores, athletic organizations, gyms, pretty much anything. You know, if we ask you to take a stand and state that black lives matter and that you are in solidarity with black people, with brown people, and 100% against racism, that is what we expect you to do. If you have a code of conduct and ethics, if you have a non-discrimination policy and you adhere to it, then it should be absolutely no problem to say that you stand in solidarity with us and you support us. If you want our money, then you need to support us. It's not much to ask for because we don't have to give you our money. There's plenty of other places, There's plenty of other companies. There's no monopoly on most things in this country. I mean it. If you want our money, if you have black customers, if you have black clients, if you serve people who are in our community, then it is imperative that you take a stand that you are with us. You can be against us or you can be for us. There is no in between. Additionally, I will say, when you make that statement, stick to it. Do not tolerate racism, discrimination, insensitivity, any of those things. They happen, especially with companies and organizations who have statements against those things. It happens. My goal is not to call anyone out. But if I have to, I will. I ain't got nothing to lose. I'm black as hell and that's hard. I got to deal with this anyway. It don't take much. You're getting emails from companies that you deal with every single day. Hell, I got an email from Kroger. Kroger can make a statement. I got about 20 emails from my job because everyone in our leadership is standing with us. If you are a powerlifting organization and our black asses are on your platforms, if you are a gym 
and you got black people lifting in your gym, if you are an apparel company, if you are a equipment company, it doesn't take much to make a stand. It does not take much. It doesn't cost you a dime. It might cost you some racist customers, but whatever. They're going to die off anyway. But we're watching. We're paying attention. We're watching what you post. We're watching what you say. We're watching your responses when we ask you to make a stand. We should not have to ask you. You know what is going on. You have seen these videos. You have seen these YouTube videos. You have seen the news. You have seen the reports. You know we're burning shit down and you know why. We're angry. We are frustrated. We are hurting. We are losing our lives. We are losing our sons. We are losing our daughters, our friends, our cousins, our loved ones. And all that we're asking is for you to take a very simple stand and say, I support you. I see you. I respect you. Your life matters. That's it. That is it. It cost absolutely nothing. And if doing something that is free is too much for you, then you really need to reevaluate whether or not you want our money, whether or not you want our business, whether or not you want our patronage. It takes a lot longer to go search a rule book and find the page of the code of ethics or the code of conduct or your non-discrimination policy. Screenshot it, copy and paste it, whatever. When you could simply just say, I see you, I hear you, I support you, Black Lives Matter, bruh. I will type it up for you and send it to you. All you need to do is post it and stand by it. So I'm challenging you. You have till Monday. If you do not do something or say something, please know and believe that I have plenty of other places to take my money and I will ensure that all of my black friends and black families and our non-black friends and family members and supporters, they'll know too. So this has been seven and a half minutes. By now you should have gone ahead and made your post. So I expect to see that. I'm gonna go take a shower now. Have a good night.